The portrayal of race in films, The Blind Side, 2009. In films, the colour black is commonly associated with negative connotations such as evil, savage, irrational or dangerous. This is also an issue when it comes to race within films. For example, African Americans are commonly portrayed as thugs, uneducated or weak. Although there are few black empowering characters in the media, African Americans are stereotypically depicted as the source of mischief and have been degraded throughout the history of film. There is a repetition of these stereotypical tropes and subservient roles and demeaning specifically in sport films. Moreover, black youth are portrayed as overly aggressive thugs or gang members, mostly associated with drugs and criminals, while typically not a cast as the protagonist of a film, unless the film is particularly targeted towards a black audience with themes of black history, slavery or black empowering. The profiling of African Americans is evident in the Hollywood film Blindside that's directed by John Lee Hancock. This movie is about a 17-year-old African American boy, Michael O, who is homeless and traumatised by his childhood growing up in an urban area. This is a bad reputation of black people as it is stereotypical of a black boy to have a bad family history and growing up in the hood with high crime rate. Never had one before. What, a room to yourself? A bed. Michael has no idea who his father is and his mother is a drug addict. With the help of a caring Caucasian woman, Lee Ann Tui, and a family, he becomes an all-American football player and first-round NFL draft pick. Lee Ann Tui goes all out to help him, including giving the coach a few ideas on how best to use Michael's skills and hiring a tutor to help him improve his grades. Yo! Deliverance! You see number 74? Well, that's my son. Some black audience of this film was not pleased to see that an African-American boy needs a Caucasian family to help him succeed in life. This is a big issue in this film because it shows that black people cannot be successful without the need of a white person as the white woman in this film is playing the role of a hero helping a poor young black boy. Throughout this film you can see bad representation of African-Americans, for example this scene. Oh, that's Big Mike, man! <laughs> big Mike is in the house! Big Mike, where you been, baby? There's a group of black guys sitting on the stairs as if they have no jobs, being very shady and intimidating. They seem to act like they own the place and they look at the white woman in a presumptuous way that makes her uncomfortable. This is how most people think black people would act because of films like this portraying them in a negative manner as individuals with nothing better to do than to bother others. Moreover, during the scene where Michael goes to ask the whereabouts of his mother, Michael is presented with alcohol, portraying that this is the norm in this society, and in addition using obscene language such as sexual jokes towards the white lady, which then leads into a fight. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. She fine, too. Yeah, she fine. Ew. <laughs> in this scene, they are conveyed as aggressive and uncivil people with no awareness of whom they are speaking to or about. There is a scene shown where the white woman fears the neighbourhood and asks Michael if he would protect her from the area. Whole life and never been anywhere near here. You're gonna take care of me, right? Actions like this shown in films make it seem like this is the way black people live, usually shown to be a dangerous lifestyle, which lead to the audience making their opinion, be it negative or positive, from movies like these. When Michael runs away and Lee Ann goes to his mother's house to look for him, the group of black men on the stairs threaten the woman. This is another stereotype of African Americans in films. They are portrayed as evil and confrontational. Tell him to sleep with one eye open. You hear me, bitch? Michael is the main character in this film who's, who is represented as caring to his family and shy. However, he is another typical lower class African American guy who is good at sport. We do not usually see much of African Americans as intellectual or high class people. In this film we see one empowering black female character who is a lawyer that is investigating if Lee Ann is using Michael for his athletic abilities. She is not a typical black woman that is in most films because she is an intellectual and she is not lower class. This is the only African American character in this film that is not shown to be stereotypical. Overall, this movie has a lot of stereotypical traits of African Americans as this is shown all on the news and is a controversial topic in the media of today. However, being as this movie is based on a true story indicates that the events taking place throughout the duration of the film can only mean that this is the true representation of Michael's life. Furthermore, this movie is shown from Lee Ann's perspective and directed by John Lee Hancock, who are both Caucasian, therefore the African American society may find this movie to be representing the black people in a way that they might not agree.